Welcome to the Cryptonomicron, and today I'm doing an ICO review on Mobile Bridge Momentum. Now, Momentum is a marketing and loyalty ICO. They intend to use smart marketing to target customers correctly and properly, and also combine it with a cryptocurrency so a company can actually issue their own tokens as loyalty points to build their own marketing programs and encourage customers to come back. So that's what it's all about, uh, smart marketing. It looks very exciting. They're partnered with some uh, uh, big players. Their customers include Burger King um, and some notable others already. So uh, this looks interesting and um, let's get down to it, boppers. So a quick Google turned up a plethora of different loyalty and marketing ICOs, all with their own take on how to deliver a cryptocurrency for loyalty programs and to improve targeting customers. There was this one, rewards.com, uh, apparently at private sale now. Haven't had a chance to look into it, but um, it came up in the search results on the first page. And there was also this one, Bit Rewards, which might be familiar to some people. Um, at ICO at the moment. Um, again, rewards and loyalty platform um, on the blockchain. And another one, Fluzz Fluzz recently completed ICO, met its hard cap, and, uh, uh, and it's, it's more of a money back loyalty program, I think, Fluzz Fluzz. So not directly in competition with um, Momentum, but uh, I thought I'd mention it anyway. And there's a couple others. This uh, easy token, it looks Vietnamese. Um, don't know anything about it at all and then um, another uh, decentralized loyalty this is called so they're coming thick and fast there is a lot of them and uh, none of them look as professional as momentum it has to be said um, and then there's this nucleus vision which I've reviewed already they decided not to have an ICO uh, stiffed all their supporters pretty much basically and um, the, the difference with this one is they're actually trying to uh, get a real real data from um, bricks and mortar retailers and transfer that on to how they're going to market to consumers so there's a little bit of difference between them all but um the competition i mean i could probably list another 20 if i had uh, the, the the time and put the effort into just finding them and and then um, comparing each of them but um it's a it's it's a competitive space loyalty programs marketing um, you know, it's a, a, an industry that's ideally suited for the blockchain, so expect it to be competitive. So the problems are highlighted on the website, and we've dealt with marketing ICOs before, so those of you that watch my reviews should be fairly familiar with the common problems. The first one is, traditional marketing is often disliked by customers, they're often badly timed, lack in personalization, and result in spam. And that is the truth because we get uh, emails telling us, you know, there's money off. We get SMS messages saying, you know, um, a, a special offer. And, and, and they're not welcome. Uh, you know, they get sent to us uh, on times uh, for things that we may not be interested in. So, you know, the, the whole point of this momentum is smart marketing is to actually target people at, at the correct time. Say, for example, about lunchtime, if you're in the area of a... Um, you know, a Burger King, for example, um, and, and, and you're hungry and, and they know that you go to Burger King or you have been uh, in the past, then they will send you some um, offer or, um, you know, some, some customer uh, rewards should you choose to go and, uh, and, and, and eat in Burger King at that particular time. So that's what I mean about smart marketing. And that will, um, you know, hopefully take over from the traditional uh, you know, hard sell marketing at the moment. So you know, it'll be targeted to you. Um, it will take into account your personal preferences, your location, and several other factors that um, it needs to, to make an in, a informed uh, decision about uh, what to reward you. And uh, also loyalty programs repeatedly fail as consumers lack a sense of value and ownership and points offer no real value, often expire and are wasted. And that's definitely the truth. Um, for example, I shop at a local supermarket here in Thailand. I'm part of their loyalty program, but I have no idea how many loyalty points I've got, how I can use them, what I can spend them on. Uh, you know, it's, it, 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 you know it's, it really is a, um, a, a ridiculous way of doing 
uh, doing business and rewarding customers. Uh, there isn't any interaction. I don't get any uh, information about how many loyalty points I've got. Uh, a letter might arrive once every few weeks telling me, uh, you know, and it's usually ignored and thrown in the bin. So by using cryptocurrency and having an app and be able to monitor the the um, uh, amount of tokens or rewards that you get is essential to sort of keeping interest, maintaining interest in it, and um, again, having a sense of value and ownership. Um, and the other point that sort of compounds the... Uh, um, you know, the, the lack of sense of value and, and ownership is that the money wasted in North America alone is $100 billion um, a year. And of course, that wasted potential can be used to transform customers into happy and active brand ambassadors. And I think, and I agree with that because if, if you get rewards, even if you get some, a little something for shopping at a certain place or going to a certain place and spreading the word about the venue or telling people about it, if you get rewarded, it gives you that sense of uh, being part of it. And uh, you know that that drives your interest and your brand loyalty as well. So um, that's definitely something that um, Momentum are going to look at uh, implementing. And it's it's exciting because traditional ways of of marketing are um, uh, outdated now, and, uh, and and we need a fresh approach. So the solution, um, according to Momentum, is to uh, implement a platform for marketing and loyalty on the blockchain. And they've got some smart ideas uh, how, and technology behind it. Um, and how they're going to go about it is um, quite innovative. So um, just briefly looking at the website to get an idea of what they want to do. They want to have this mobile marketing uh, automation solution. So they basically target users based on um, uh, different data. Um, including location, um, user attributes, for example, and also your, your previous behavior. Uh, so it'll be smart marketing in, a, in, a, in a essence. So you won't get o overloaded with spam. It's not a hard sell here. Uh, you, know, you, you will be uh, targeted as and when the AI thinks that you should be targeted. You will also get rewarded as a consumer. So uh, they're going to um, reward you for your time and your activity as well. There will be user managed data drives for uh, better user experiences. So, um, you know, um, it will optimize your, uh, your journey and your offers, and that will be based on the data that they collect provided by the consumers themselves. Your loyalty rewards will be portable. So you'll be able to swap them over for other uh, uh, reward programs from other companies, which I think may be the game changer here because uh, at the moment it's uh, really not possible to swap loyalty points in the real world. Um, and also they will um, understand and optimize the return of investment. So detailed analytics will provide insight in user behavior and effectiveness of the marketing spend as well. And there will be, of course, data transparency and security because it's on the blockchain. Referring to the white paper now and looking at the market, mobile marketing is a massive, massive multi-billion dollar marketplace. And it's anticipated to grow at almost 30% year on year and triple in size, can you believe, to more than 99 billion US dollars uh, by 2021. And the addressable market for this particular project for Mobile Bridge Momentum is approximately $9 billion. So a massive, massive potential here. Um, and again, you know, more people are using mobiles. Um, internet is getting better, so it's um, you know it's it's the natural way it's moving at the moment over to to mobile marketing, coupons, card schemes, all in the past and will be soon. Um, you know, uh, again, I go back to my example of the supermarket that I shop at. Uh, they use an antiquated card scheme. You get a number, uh, or you can you, you know you can tell them your phone number at the check-in desk, and they reward you points every time you spend money. Um, you know that's an antiquated method of um, of loyalty program that will be outdated. And the the mobile programs, um, even over here in in um, in Thailand, they're starting to become ubiquitous now. Uh, you know, but they don't offer the same sort of rewards and um, user interaction as a tokenized system on the blockchain will. And that's why I believe these um, marketing and loyalty programs in the blockchain are, are, are quite um, innovative and quite important. 
So the uh, target markets for uh, Mobile Bridge Momentum are immediately the retail market and also quick service restaurants. Um, I assume that to be fast food restaurants as uh, they both typically have a great mobile community with users looking to connect online and offline. And then they're gonna move into travel, bank, insurance, and also automotive. So they've already done their market research. And again, you know, um, I'll reiterate that I believe these uh, marketing programs will become mobile based. And you know, the, the old way of coupons, um, car, you know, credit card type, uh, a, a reward programs that type of thing will be um, antiquated and therefore uh, go the way of the dodo so the blockchain they're using is the ethereum blockchain the token will be an erc20 ethereum token and they have not got blockchain technology implemented yet they do have an app they do have a minimum viable product so it's important to note that um, but they are going to implement the blockchain uh, and their tokenized system in the near future. So this is basically the stack here. Uh, for you that are technically minded, um, this gives you a little idea of uh, how they're planning it and uh, how they're setting it up. So just a quick word about the um, blockchain infrastructure here. They say in the white paper that they think the Ethereum platform is the correct blockchain to use for the rollout of the Momentum token based on the fact it is the most mature and enterprise ready for the client base that they serve. Um, they also say that Ethereum's got exceptional support in the market and is extremely proactive in keeping the platform secure and operational. Its ability to sustain transactional growth, including the transactions supporting the recent viral crypto kitties phenomenon is evidenced in the chart here. So um, that, that's the reason for them choosing the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, so basically what they're gonna do now is they've got this um, mobile bridge, uh, which is their um, app and they now need to integrate it with the blockchain technology, with the Ethereum blockchain. On to the tech section now, and while I'm not gonna talk about the uh, real techno technical aspects of the, of the blockchain and everything, I think we can do all that research for ourselves. I will talk about some of the cool features of the app and uh, how it really works in delivering the correct marketing to the consumer. Um, and they're basically gonna follow the consumer throughout the entire life cycle. So, you know, when the consumer um, identifies a brand for the first time, um, you know, and then is deliberating whether over purchasing, perhaps uh, makes a purchase uh, or not, um, you know, that will be evaluated as will after the purchase and uh, into the future. So whenever the um, a consumer does a, you know, review or tells their friends over social media or something, all this will be evaluated and um, calculated and obviously will be applied to the marketing campaign as well. So there are a few examples in the white paper. The first one is here, um, you know, to, to incentivize people to use the platform, you've got to reward them. And um, all these different companies will have their own loyalty programs on the back of the Momentum platform. Uh, which is again one of the selling points for this um, this particular ICO. So, for example, let's use Burger King as an existing customer of Mobile Bridge as an example. Um, you know, if if the customer is then um, on the app, a uh, Burger King app, looking at uh, perhaps eating Burger King in the future, thinking about what he's going to have for dinner, the um, app will then uh, the marketing program will then say, you know, fill in your profile. Um, you share your data, you fill in your profile, and then you get rewarded, and it's as simple as that. And that way, um, there's been a transaction there between you as the consumer, giving your data you know, for a reward in, in, the, in the loyalty points from Burger King. Another important way to uh, incentivize the, the consumer is also to get them to interact with the community. That spreads your brand name as well. So for example, if you purchase a product from a store and then later on you review it, you will get rewarded in the loyalty points for writing the review and sharing that with your friends. And then it encourages you also to go back into the store and spend those loyalty points at a later date. And final example here is uh, the loyalty program. So if you're using um, a store or an app on a regular basis, you um, 
get loyalty points for sharing uh, with your friends. So you send uh, invites to your friends, you share it, you get the tokens, the loyalty points, and then you go and spend them in the store. So the key here is to give value for the brand and um, they expand their brand awareness and encourage consumers to actually spend money on their products. Uh, but as a consumer, you also get value as well. So you get rewards and um, you will get treated as an individual. You, you know, you get a uh, marketing that's geared towards you yourself, not just as a group of people. Um, you'll be able to get better service given the, the, the brand or the, um, uh, you know, w or the, the shop or whatever will know you uh, in a more intimate way. And uh, you don't get spammed as well, which I, I guess is, a, is, is good. Um, and again, you know, um, the value for the brand is purely in um, encouraging more consumers to, to use their, their, uh, their brand and, and purchase more products from them. So Momentum is a utility token, ERC20 token on the Ethereum blockchain, as I already mentioned. Um, it is a rewards and loyalty token, first and foremost. So it'll be used to reward consumers for their attention, their business, their brand advocacy, and data insights as well. It will also be a gateway token. Uh, the Momentum token enables consumers to convert company-branded loyalty rewards into Momentum tokens, which in turn can be exchanged for other reward tokens or cryptocurrencies. It will be a platform payment currency. So if you're a company using the Mobile Bridge Momentum platform, you pay for it in Momentum tokens. And um, it will just be a normal cryptocurrency as well, an encrypted decentralized digital currency holding value and transferred between peers. So as a company, you're probably gonna wonder you know, what rewards you wanna give your consumers if they engage in your loyalty program. And in the white paper, you can see here the almost unlimited ways that you can um, reward your consumers. So if they purchase a product, you can reward them. If they get a friend to buy, visit the shop, fill in your profile, use a coupon, fill in a poll, update the profile, post your th stuff on Facebook, post a product review, tweet your purchase. You know, really, really um, many, many ways to get the customer to engage with your brand. On to the red flag section now, and there are no red flags for this project that I could find. Um, no scam warnings, the team's real, the partnerships are all uh, real, and um, the only thing I did find was this um, Momentum Marketing Group, not the same company as Mobile Bridge Momentum, it must be said. So, you know, this is a completely different co company, and there's employees um, saying that the this um, Momentum Incorporated, I think it is in Cincinnati, um, are a brainwash pyramid scam, not to be confused with Mobile Bridge Momentum. So just uh, to get that clarified. So the ICO is scheduled for the 26th of March and will last for four weeks or until hard cap is achieved. Now, if we just scroll up a little bit here, we can see the details of the token sale. Here we are. Um, the soft cap is 2.5 million euros. Their target is 25 million euros and their hard cap is 42 million euros. The total supply is 1 billion tokens and uh, the tokens for sale, 50% of the total are 500 million. So uh, token price is um, a 0.1 of a euro uh, and uh, 12 cents in um, US dollars. So 50% tokens will be sold during the crowd sale. 33% will be held in strategic reserve at Mobile Bridge. 5% uh, will be long-term team retention. 5% will be third-party launch costs. 3% for the Mobile Bridge team and 3% for the bounty program. And 2% will be given to advisors. So another couple of important things to point out, they do have a bonus scheme going. It's from five to 15%, dependent on volume and supply from week one, going right through to week four where there's no bonus offered. And all bonus tokens will be vested for a period of 12 months. You won't get them until after the 12 months is over. Um, also the strategic reserve uh, that was uh, allocated, uh, they will be frozen for a minimum of three years. The other important thing to note here that any tokens left unsold at the end of the ICO will be burned. 
Team tokens will vest as well, another 12 months for them from the start date of the sale period. There is an additional 5% that have been set aside for additional long-term retention um, for existing and newer team members, but none of those tokens have been allocated yet and they won't be allocated before 1st of January 2019. And even then, they will also be subject to a vest So Mobile Bridge Momentum are having a bounty campaign. There's a generous 2% of the total token supply given to the bounty campaign. That is uh, 20 million tokens total. So plenty to go around. Um, the distribution will be as follows. The campaigns uh, for Twitter will receive 7.5%, translation moderation 10%, signature campaigns for the forum 30%, LinkedIn 5%, content creation 30%, newsletter 5%, YouTube campaign 2.5%, Telegram advertising 2.5%, crypto compare 2.5% and a bonus of 5%. As usual, the rules must be followed. You'll need to sign up for their Telegram group and their uh, Amazix bounties channel as well. Um, and the other rules will follow depending on which uh, bounty campaign you're participating in. So the reason we look at the roadmap is to see how long they're going to take to actually get a working product with a blockchain functioning. Uh, they already have the Mobile Bridge loyalty module. They built that last year and then they've been planning for the blockchain as well. So the token sale will happen, um, obviously, uh, quarter one, 2018, and then the infrastructure will start to be developed. They hope that the functional development will kick off in quarter two 2018 and then throughout 2018 the rest of 2018 they will integrate the the tokenization of the system and user profiles on the blockchain and by 2019 we can see them extending the existing loyalty programs they've got moving into 2020 and um, there will be store promotions and assets as well and then beyond that loyalty infrastructure and positioning Looking at the team, they are a team with a proven track record. They're not just blowing their own trumpets. Uh, Keith DeVos is the CEO. He is a former SVP product at uh, Hybris. Now, just as an aside, Hybris was sold to SAP for, I think, $1.5 billion. So anybody that was involved in the startup of Hybris um, pretty much knows what they're doing. I think we can call them successful entrepreneurs. Um, so Keith uh, has 15 years global leadership experience and he's worked for uh, or worked with brands like uh, Walmart, Argos and Tesco, which is um, ideally suited uh, to what he's doing now with brand loyalty, commerce strategy, etc. cetera. Uh, moving on to E.L. Oster, he's the president and the founder and um, he is uh, one of Mobile Bridges co-founders and he has um, experience in um, startups, um, he's an expert in mobile digital marketing automation and loyalty programs as well. Ariel Ludi is uh, the chairman and he's former CEO of Hybris as well. He was um, one of Europe's most successful technology leaders and an investor in around 20 most innovative technology startups, including Mobile Bridge. He's the former CEO of Hybris and um, he's previously held senior roles at Salesforce, Oracle and Broadvision. So the top tier um, management team there, um, no doubting their expertise and ability. And due to the experience and um, prowess of the other team members, I think we, you know, we'll have a little look at them as well. So we've got Jack Sinclair, he is Vice President of Technology, he's also a, a blockchain expert. Um, he has been uh, involved with uh, centralized and decentralized cloud architectures, which are obviously uh, important for this project being uh, cloud-based. Um, and he's also been a senior consultant with Fortune 50 companies. Uh, Shlomo Cohen, board member, managing director of Intel. Uh, what more do you need to say there, really? Lior Lavon is the chief technical officer. He's also a co-founder and uh, he started at Palm Incorporated and has uh, had a number of senior roles in different mobile and location-based technology companies. So again, the, 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 the strength of the team here is uh, not in question. The advisory body is no less impressive than the team. I would consider this project to have an all-star team 
Uh, and you know, as such, I think there's no question uh, as to whether they can implement the, you know, they really are an all-star team. Um, if you look at some of the experience uh, behind some of these guys, you know, we're looking at companies like Amazon, Expedia, um, you know, um, SAP, um, even uh, uh, Shell, you know, and Mastercard. So yeah, none of the none of the advisors uh, lack experience or know-how either. So very reassuring. So for partners, I'll use the white paper, it makes it easier for me. Um, Amazix uh, are an ICO partner, they are a community management and engagement firm, so they'll watch all their social media, ensure everybody gets the answers that they want. Uh, Avagon are a consulting firm and they assist companies in the early stage of research into using blockchain or distributed ledger technologies. Um, and you know whether it's right for your company to actually use it. Fusion ICO is a professional marketing and financial services uh, boutique focused on crypto and blockchain. And uh, Blonde 2.0 is a PR agency um, helping to promote this uh, crowd sale. And Mars Media is a creative agency uh, specialized in delivering high quality design and development solutions for online and offline media. So uh, very interesting, but the uh, even more interesting part of it is the implementation and tech partners. And they are of no uh, small value whatsoever. They are uh, Deloitte, Salmon, Cape Gemini or Cap Gemini, SAP, BT, that's British Telecom for, you, uh, for, you, for those of you that don't live in the UK, Reply and Digitas LBI. And uh, I just wanted to point out as well that their technology integrates with uh, leading digital platforms from SAP, Hub uh, Hybris, sorry, uh, Salesforce and Adobe as well. While not partners uh, or official partners uh, by any standards of the imagination, they are here as customers and they note Pirelli, Bilka Plus, Burger King, Galbani, Praxis and Volkswagen as well. Um, those are big, big customers and you know they'll bring in a lot of revenue. So community support now and um, it's very small for this ICO currently because it only launched the bounty campaign I believe yesterday. So we're in the very embryonic stages of this uh, project and um, let's hope it can bring the community behind it because it needs a community to succeed and uh, you know it needs the hype behind it to succeed in the crowd sale as well. So um, let's look at the Telegram, Telegram group, I believe only have around 188 members, um, 403 members at the moment. So that's uh, that's uh, quite good. It's better than I thought it was. And the Twitter, yeah, they've only got 188 followers on Twitter. So as I said, very, very early days at the moment. And, um, you know, the, the community needs to get behind this uh, project to get it traction. Once again, it is verdict time and let's start off with the positives. So number one, the mobile bridge platform is already built. The technical specifications are in the white paper and it's uh, being used by clients already. So basically all they need to do is apply the blockchain technology, the tokenization and away we go. Number two, this could be very disruptive to the industry, bringing the blockchain and tokenization to the loyalty programs and marketing is exactly what the industry is calling out for. Number three, very important to note that it rewards the user of the app. So if you're actually using the system, you'll get rewarded by just filling in your profile data to uh, doing reviews, you know, so many ways that you'll get rewarded with the tokens um, and, you know, uh, the loyalty point program uh, tokens from the different companies that are using it. Number four, is the low token price. I always say my sweet spot is between one and 10 cents and uh, this is no exception, just creeping in at 10 cents. And number five, another positive here is the vesting schedules and token burn. And obviously if they don't meet their hard cap, they will burn the excess tokens. But also uh, the vesting schedules are quite fair. All bonus tokens will be subject to a vested period and uh, so will team tokens, etc. <clears throat> Number six, they have an all-star team and advisory body. There's no question over implementation here. They all have proven entrepreneurial experience. Um, they're all 
pretty impressive and uh, yeah I mean you know this is this is something that they're really going to get their teeth into I feel number seven no less important than the team is the stellar partnerships that the this company has already um, SAP British Telecom uh, you know uh, just to name two this will really drive the the project to success in my opinion number eight I mentioned it very briefly in the partner section. They have had big name clients before, so they know how to deal at that uh, top level. You know, Burger King, Volkswagen. Um, you know, they, they're not they're not small they're not small potatoes. Those are real big players. And if they're using this sort of marketing platform and uh, they're interested in using the new uh, Momentum blockchain uh, app that the uh, company's now building, you know, the 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 world's your oyster. Really, the sky's the limit. Number nine, they're already realizing revenue through their mobile bridge platform and the existing clients. And number 10, it's important to note that this really has a real token utility. There's a use for the token. It's not just, you know, this is a, we're, we're doing the blockchain just for the sake of it. The token really has a proper utility here in the form of rewards um, and um, to, to buy into the, uh, to the loyalty programs for the, the custom, for the companies that are willing to run their own loyalty programs. And also you can exchange the, the uh, loyalty uh, program rewards for the, um, the momentum token as well. And number 11, again, just to uh, reiterate what I just said, the blockchain really works here. It really is the type of, um, you know, the, 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 the type of project that benefits from using the blockchain technology. Number 12, um, not that important, but it's certainly uh, well put together, the material. So there are a few negatives of the project. As you can imagine, I don't uh, pull any punches. Uh, there is no code on GitHub. Now, um, the, it's, this is not an open source project, so I didn't expect there to be, um, you know, details of the app and everything else there. But uh, I would have liked to seen a smart contract for the token sale. I have spoken to the admin on Telegram and they say that may be a consideration in the future. So whether they put that up there, uh, who knows? I always feel that if they, uh, you know, if a company is doing an ICO and they uh, show their smart contract on GitHub, it reassures us as investors that they are uh, legitimate. And also it gives people a chance to look over the code and look for any um, errors or any bugs. Number two, um, I believe and I feel the hard cap is too high for this project. They're looking to raise 25 million euros. Um, that should be the, the hard cap in my opinion. You know, going higher than that, almost to, to double the amount, is too high for a project of this magnitude. That's my opinion. Number three, um, this hopefully will change in the near future. There's low community support for this project, but as you can see, with the uh, backing of the partners, the team and everything else, this has surely got to grow. Community's got to realize that. So let's hope uh, that it will grow before the ICO and during the ICO and when it hits the exchanges. And again, partly due to the low community support behind it at this particular time, there is very low hype. Uh, nobody's really talking about it. Um, so let's hope again that changes. And number five, uh, uh, the final negative here. In fact, it's not the final negative. There are a couple more. Um, this may have a higher uh, market cap than I would have liked when it goes on to the exchanges. So um, um, I think with a 10 cent token price and a circulating supply, provided they meet the hard cap of around, say, 520 million, we're looking at about a 50, 52 million dollar market cap. And that's fairly high because uh, a, a new project of this uh, size you know, you really want it to to be able to grow maybe three to five fold, you know, as soon as it hits the exchanges and, you know, maybe even tenfold if it's got a lot of hype behind it. But, the re you know, if this has got a $52 million market cap, when it goes on the exchanges, its scope for growth is relatively limited unless it gets hyped, um, you know, beyond all, 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 all imagination. Let's hope it does. But, you know, a growth from... 52 to say 150 million is possible but from 52 to a billion or from 52 to 500 million you know that's going to be a lot more difficult to achieve i'm not saying it's going to be impossible but it is more difficult and number six uh, there is stiff competition in marketing and loyalty on the blockchain they have a lot of competitors this project certainly seems a lot more polished than others and as such, I think this will stand out amongst the competition. 
you know, it's, it remains to be seen, though. Uh, we'll need to wait and see. But, uh, you know, from what I see, based on the other, the other um, competitors, uh, this one is, uh, is, is, is leading. And number seven, um, they have a vague and unclear roadmap. The roadmap isn't concise enough. It doesn't tell me what I want to know. It just basically says, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do this in quarter two. We're going to do that. Um, you know, very general, not specific enough for my liking. Um, and that needs rethought, I think. So my verdict is the top level partners and clients should keep this project above its rivals. Um, I'm going to give this project four stars out of five based on what I know about it already. Um, again, you know, it's only really let down by its um, lack of community support and hype, which I'm sure will be um, solved before the ICO kicks off on the 26th of March. Uh, you know, I, I also think that um, putting a smart, smart contract on GitHub would go a long way to reassuring uh, investors as well. But, you know, I have a couple of concerns about it. It's in a competitive space. You know, why, again, why are they having an ICO? You know, when they can, um, you know, they, they should be raising revenue from their existing clients and, and, and building the project um, internally without external funding. You know, there's, there's, a few, um, there's a few little niggles that it makes it lose a star. But overall, I'm very bullish on this project. I think it's a, a truly disruptive project. And again, I think it can take on the competition quite easily. The team are, are very good. Um, it has all the right attributes to be a successful project. So uh, um, good luck with it, guys. I hope it works out for you. And uh, will I be investing? Well, yes, I probably will. Uh, near the time, I'll, I'll know um, 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 for definite. Uh, but at the moment, yeah, it's looking very, very uh, ent enticing at the moment. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Mobile Bridge Momentum ICO. Are you going to be investing? Let me know. And uh, let me know if you know any other ICOs you want me to review. As ever, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just purely for entertainment purposes and should be uh, not construed as financial advice under any, any circumstances. So um, that being said, uh, please, uh, you know, if you're going to invest in ICOs, <clears throat> bear in mind that they do pose inherent risk and that uh, you should never invest more than you can afford to lose. Always do your own due diligence. Always do your own research. And um, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.